One of my ideas for this week's painting was to try and capture something on canvas that represented um, a famous landmark. And it got me to thinking, why are landmarks so popular? Well, I guess landmarks reveal so much about a country's culture and its past. And I guess many landmarks, natural or man-made, are much like books in that books reveal a lot about the ideals and, and values from a society of people who lived before we even came along. As is the case with Uluru, or commonly known as Ayers Rock in Northern Territory, Australia. The rock has major significance amongst Australia's Aboriginals and it is in fact written into the Aboriginal Dreamtime and has significant tribal beliefs attached to it. I suppose landmarks are somewhat tangible proof that history is not a myth and in the case of man-made landmarks they're proof of mankind's more recent historical achievements. You'll notice that I've deliberately incorporated a sun behind the rock despite that the sun rises in the east and it sets in the west. Now this was my way of emphasizing the rock's mystique, its power and visual strength. Ayers Rock, like most major landmarks, it inspires wonder and intrigue. It's kind of like a geographical logo. Ayers Rock, or Uluru, was once described by explorer Ernest Giles as Australia's remarkable pebble, with a 318 metre height, 8 kilometres right around, and also extending 2.5 kilometres into the ground. I'd have to agree with old Ernie, it is quite remarkable. Of course, one of Ayers Rock's amazing features is its ability to change colour, depending on what time of day it is. It's also been known to turn from a sandy red to a soft violet during rainfall.